I have a word that I believe is going to be important for HR, for people operations, uh, for leaders of teams. And that word is healthy. Yes, the word of 2023, I believe, is going to be uh, healthy. Employees are going to want to hone in on their physical health, their financial health, and their mental health because we're realizing that so much of what we do at work impacts our ability to take care of our physical health, financial health, and mental health. And I truly believe that uh, employees are going to be shifting from aiming for work-life balance and more towards work-life design. So being able to structure uh, with some intentionality your life and the way that you show up to work, the way that you show up for your family, the way you show up for gym time, meditation, exercise, whatever the case may be. And so I think there's going to be more intentionality around that aspect. And then on the employer side, what does healthy look like? I think that is uh, better boss behavior, which would be improved coaching, improved feedback, improved relational skills and soft skills, because talent is voting with their feet. Um, They're resigning. They're going to work other places. They're starting their own jobs, starting their own companies. People are choosing to work less hours um, as independent contractors or independent um, folks for higher bill rates, right, to help bring in more of their uh, predictable W-2 income. So what's going to prevent that, that mass exodus is better boss behavior and, you know, more interesting jobs. I think the way that you do that is having supervisors who understand what the employees want and how to engineer a job or job description and a work environment that makes sure everybody feels uh, like they're an integral part in the success of that company. Another thing that employers can do to be healthy in 2023 is to have more robust benefit offerings. So going beyond your health, vision, dental, and 401k, maybe providing uh, travel stipends, gym stipends, mental health stipends, family care stipends, plant and gardening stipends, who, you know, just, just get creative with it and all in the name of figuring out what helps your employees feel like they're in their, their state of peace, their state of joy, their state of um, de-stressing because the workplace can come with its own stresses. And if you can be an employer who aids in an employee's stress maintenance, then, you know, you're doing, you're doing right by your team. And the other thing is going to be just better alignment of tools and technology at work. Maybe that is in addition to uh, cybersecurity, um, beefing it up so that your employees aren't subject to unhealthy behavior such as phishing and uh, data breaches, but also maybe figuring out what boundaries look like from the standpoint of when employees must respond to emails, when they must respond to text messages, so on and so forth. And then the other is uh, focusing on retention and growth, not just recruitment. So that means upskilling. That means looking to the future uh, and career pathing and helping your employees grow into the roles that they see for themselves, as well as, um, you know, helping to contribute to the shape and vision of the organization. 